Well, good morning, friends. So good to be together and to know and love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I've seen so many neat things that God has been doing and is actively involved in people's lives. Even these days that we're walking through, God is busy and he's involved and he's changing lives. I've prayed so many times, God, Show me your will. Like what that really means is, what do you want me to do? And then God, give me the power or the strength to do your will. Have you determined the will of God for your life? And are you doing it? Let me give you a few little examples of it. I have had several people, several people who have come to me and told me, that they had addictions, and their addictions were all different things. And they had come to the front of the church and asked me to pray for them, and I prayed. And in an instant, the addictions were gone, and they are free today. They're free. And it may have been 20 years ago, or 25 years ago, or they're free. Now, is there something that God wants you to pray over someone that they need to be free from? Is there something that God wants you to do for someone that he's given you the strength and the power and whatever it is to do it, but you haven't quite done it yet? It was very interesting. I received a email, and I'm not going to go into a lot of details, but it was from a place over in Europe where they're having a war. And here are these pastors, and they had small churches that were just starting. In one of the small churches, they had 60 people, but they had no chairs for any of them. People stepped forward and donated money, and they got 60 chairs. Well, in the midst of this turmoil over there, they not only had the chairs, but they had people come forward and commit their lives to the Lord, and they had people who want to go into ministry, and so now they have six more churches that are started. People called by God to do something they stepped forward and they started six more churches. 
What has God called you to do? What's in his heart for you? Is it for you to help someone? Is it for you to take a step of faith and do something? Is it for you to go and give to somebody? God has something for you to do. Don't just sit back. Step forward. Step forward and see where it is in the Lord's house that he wants you to help and what he wants you to do. And take that step of faith and do it. Do it in faith. Do it with the provision of the Lord coming to you. It might be for you to pray for somebody. It might be for you to go somewhere. Oh, I look back and I look at some of my friends who I was raised with and who we went to college again together. They've gone to different parts of the world and they've just spent their life doing things for the Lord. And what's happened? With what they've done, they have seen many people come to Christ. They have seen many people accept Jesus as their personal savior and have their sins forgiven. People who now God is using to reach out to others. I've seen some who have worked in terms of buying Bibles for people and their gift has been to donate a Bible. Oh, a Bible to so many millions of people in the world that have never really even heard the name of Jesus. And all of a sudden they have a Bible. They can take it. They can open it. They can read it. They can start and do what the Bible tells them to do. What has God called you to do? And if he's empowered you with something, a gift in prayer, if he's empowered you with something, a financial gift that you can give to buy a chair or buy a Bible or help a missionary or plant a church. You know, this one church over there that uh, got going and got their 60 seats, six more churches have come out of there that are now all growing. Now they need help. If you'd like to help somebody, you can do that. You can give something and just mark on the thing that you give what it's for. If it's for a church planting or if it's for a giving a Bible or if it's for something else, whatever it might be, you can mark it on and give it and we will make sure it gets there and does the things that you want it to do. Makes a difference in people's lives. And you could pray and ask God to help you to be able to do something that will make a difference in someone's life. Someone who is in desperate need make a difference in their life. Someone who comes and has some kind of addiction. I prayed and they are set free. I've talked to people recently and 20 years ago, I prayed for them and they haven't had the addiction or the desire for it again in over 20 years. That's God at work. And he does this work through you and through me and through all of us. But you have to pray. You give your life to Jesus. You ask him to show you what his will is. And you ask him to empower you to do his will. It will likely involve you stepping out in faith. It will involve you praying for someone. It will involve you giving something to someone and blessing someone in different ways. But I want to be an active Christian who has a part in life where it makes a difference for someone else. I want to be an active Christian who God uses to see the lives changed in other people. I want to be an active Christian where I see people involved in ministry in different countries of the world who've never known anything about the gospel are learning about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for my sins and died for yours so that you 
can be an active Christian. Be active. Do something. Pray a prayer and say, God, what is your will for me? What do you want me to do? And God, give me the strength and the power and give me the provision to be able to do what you want me to do. God, I want to step out in faith, but I need you to show me what you want me to do. And God can increase your faith. Ask him to. Sometimes as he increases it, it's a tough journey. But if he has something for you to do and he needs your faith increased, he can give you through the journey through that plan time when your creases in your faith is increased and you are then empowered to do the will of God. Show me your will. Give me the power to do it. Speak words into my heart, words that I can share with other people, words that I can share with someone to make a difference in their lives. Show me who to pray for and what I'm to pray, how I'm to help and how I should take that step of faith to help the people who you bring in contact with me. God plans to use you. You'll have a, church, a choice. Say yes to God or say, no, I'm just doing what I want to do. I want it how I want it to be. You don't want to do that. You want to say yes to God. Use me. Bless me so I can be a blessing to other people around me and change the world that I live in. We want to see the world we live in changed, but it'll only happen through the power of God as he works through all of us and let him do it through you. You have somebody around you that needs a change? Pray, dear God, I pray for, and you can name the person, they need a change in their life I pray that they will turn to you and they will find favor with you and you will bless them and change them. Show me how I'm to help them in this journey. Show me what I'm to do in this journey and give me the strength and the power to do it for the glory of God. Bless people, make a difference and be used by God, in Jesus' name we pray. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy this beautiful sunshine and this weather we've had. And bless other people. Amen and amen. God bless you.